started swimming when I was, uh, competitively when I was 10, or just before 10, uh, but I did the whole Red Cross swim program, and I remember with my twin brother, we were so competitive that, you know, I would get a level ahead of him, and he'd get two levels ahead of me, and it was just a constant battle for who could do better, and so, uh, I never thought of swimming as a sport, and just decided to start it because I had really bad knee and ankle problems. One thing I could do where it didn't really bother that, you know, I was a terrible runner, and so I just loved it for the environment, and you know, I mean, what kid doesn't love being at the pool every day, and it just really, really carried me to where I am now. I, that's a good question. Uh, I don't have web feet. Um, I have very flexible ankles, which I think helps any swimmer. Uh, and you know, I would love to be a hundred freestyler or a sprint freestyler, but my little arms don't really help me very much. But my body really uh, deals with lactic acid really well, and so we've we've tested, and it shows that a lot of distance athletes are you know share that quality. And for me, it's it's bad, as bad as it can feel in a race. I know in the back of my mind, you know, we've done the testing. We know that it's something I'm good at. So I, it, you know, I think everybody's body type is really pushes them in one direction and my, you know, this distance for me. I don't really have role models. Uh, I think, you know, I've always appreciated the things, you know, people have done in swimming and other sports. Uh, I remember watching Simon win his gold medal and I think a lot of people, that's a great sporting moment they remember. And, uh, but I think the thing that stuck with me is he brought it to my school uh, afterwards and it was just, you know, how much it really, uh, you know, drove me to be better in sport. And so I think, you know, if I can even do that for one athlete, I think it's what I want to leave a legacy in sport. And so, uh, you know, I, I think he touched, you know, hundreds of athletes when he did that just in, you know, for 20 minutes one day. So, uh, but I never, you know, put anybody on pedestals. I like to tell, you know, younger athletes that I don't think you should because I think everybody's beatable. I think everybody, everybody, you know, is a real human being and, and really, you know, can be beat at any point. I love to travel. It's one of the things I love about sport. And, you know, I, I say sport's a job, um, and I do really believe that, but it's one of the best jobs in the world because the places I've seen, you know, even if it's for an hour here or an hour there, I mean, you don't know the places I've seen in one day, but I think uh, Barcelona is probably my favorite city in the world. Um, I love, obviously, most of Europe, but uh, just the, the people in Barcelona, I think, is what made the experience for me. I mean, people were so accommodating, and it's just such a, a great, you know, atmosphere and, you know, culture. And, um, I have a friend who was living in the south of France uh, last year, and so being able to go visit him, and it was the same idea and the same, you know, people just, you know, will bring you in their home and they'll give you the food, feed you dinner, and they don't even really know you, and I didn't even speak the language, but uh, I think it, it's something that we can all learn from. The one thing I always like to emphasize to younger athletes is that you don't have to do it to excel right away. I mean, I was a terrible athlete growing up. Um, my brother was, you know, the star athlete in soccer, baseball, um, track, cross country, all that kind of stuff. He was number one too, and I was fighting for, I remember fighting for 50th place in cross country because that's when they cut off the ribbons. And so <laughs> making sure that I was just in there. But it was, you know, fighting for a different thing in sport. I mean, I, I did it because I love to compete. I love to, you know, represent myself in, in you know, in an athletic way. And so I think every athlete should, you know, continue in what they do because, you know, it's not because of winning, but that is a little part of it. I mean, I think everybody has the goals that they like to win at. And uh, I think, you know, it took me a while to find a sport I excelled at. And I think everybody has to, you know, be patient in that regard. Uh, I'm reading Hunger Games right now. It's, uh, I'm a little embarrassed by that because it is a bit teen fiction, but uh, I really love you know Dan Brown books because they're easy reads. And I'm not much of a reader, but I have a Kindle and I, I bring it everywhere with me. And so it's getting into those books because you know you can read a whole book on a plane and it's it's no problem. Music is a huge thing for me. Uh, you know whether it's <laughs> I, I listen to electronic music, house music, and you know, I'm the guy that five in the morning on the way to the pool and I'm listening to, you know, heavy, <laughs> heavy music, but it, it's what motivates me. And you know, any time of the day I find it as, you know, such a positive motivator. And, uh, so I always have my iPod with me no matter what. Like it's, it's one of the things before a race that I have to make sure, you know, I have the music that is really gonna motivate me and it make sure I'm in tune to what I'm doing. And uh, I, I do watch a lot of movies, but lots of TV shows, you know, I mean, we're on the road so much that, you know, it's what you have to do to pass the time. 
not at all. Um, we were, me and my twin brother were really close growing up, uh, like pretty much inseparable. And then we, you know, honestly in grade school we had very different classes, you know. He, I don't think we were ever really in the same class besides kindergarten. And so, you know, you make your own friends, different experiences, and we're very different people now. Um, he's married, you know, he's in grad school. It's, it's a very different path than what I'm on, but I think it's cool because it's, you know, I could see myself doing what he's doing if I wasn't in sport. And so, uh, it's, you know, I'm thankful for the experiences I get. Not that I don't think what he does is great, but uh, it's not what I would want to be doing right now. So it's, it's, it's awesome because, you know, you see the exact thing that I would be doing. I really chose psychology because it was actually one of the few degrees I could take uh, that wasn't uh, a program. I, I'd love to do business, that's obviously you know something I really want to do, but uh, at the same time it's a very set program and it's hard to work that into swimming and I think you do give some things up to be an athlete and that's one of the things I give up and uh, psychology I think is interesting and it, it's really, it's, it, it'll be a good degree to have but I think uh, I really see myself in the business community when I'm, when I'm done swimming and uh, I think you know any degree or any you know grad school that you can do will really help you know in any regard. Uh, you know, Randy came and started working in Victoria when I was 12 years old, 13 years old, and he was used to working with uh, senior level athletes, and we were these snotty you know teenagers, and uh, I think we've both really grown up since that point, and he's a, a much more senior coach, I'm a much more senior athlete, and uh, we really questioned everything for years and years and years, and so that we could get to this point now where, you know, we don't question anything, and it, it's, it's a working relationship, and I think it's an interesting relationship because a lot of people say, you know, they love their coach, they hang out with their coach all the time, and me and Randy are very different people outside the pool, but it's a working relationship. We work together well now, and uh, it, 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 you know, we get the results from that, and I think we really respect each other because of that.